time round. But we're going to get this one underway with Spirit starting on the T side. Astralis on the defense of Overpass. And while well, some of those numbers about these CT side players, I guess we'll turn our attention to blame F early as we have a four man B lean. Zipax boosted up, push coming on through, and first oh, contact oh. taken, first bullet fired, and Magic's in the dirt. Yeah, now they are already set turning attention here. Oh, God, they considered it, but so far not a peep out of them. Blame considers monster completely clear. You can see that Chopper is on his way back. No information but sound cues and shots. That information will be relayed. Got behind as a bat, and now out. Four on four. Spirit. Smoke towards the heaven side. Glaive will have Zip to at least relay information. A setup very strong and potent for this, but it's blocks at range. It's not going to be easy. You do have Dexter's P250. He does nothing with it. Chopper is another casualty now for Spirit as three, no two, one. It's running out of time, running out of heads as they all get popped. And you can hear the Danes are going to be happy with that one, trying to get the mojo flowing early this morning. As, I mean, they have got an opportunity to lock in for the next stage of competition. Blame's straight in with the technical timeout. Yeah. So, uh, as per the script around here, Blame's going to have an issue or two that's going to be sorted out. You can see, likely, uh, an audio issue there, everybody. But that's a great way to get the day underway for the Danish side. And I uh, ha have been liking the progression of, uh, of Astralis upwards, right? Early on, we saw maybe some conflicts in roles and positions, but they've been able to settle into... As a second... Looking forward to that one. That's Astralis' pick. Nuke should we require it, but map, or rather map one, round two. Zoot with the Bowden by the Molotov. He's just going to be a full eco right here out of spirit. We expect these rounds to play out very slow. Just baiting out that CT utility. A flash in the hands right now. Patty to try and enable his teammates if there is an aggressive maneuver. And you can see Farley, he's flirting with danger right now. Pushed on up, does take a bit of a fight. The flash on over from Patsy is not going to do anything whatsoever. And it's going to send them actually packing all the way back now, returning towards the other side of the map. Glaive, he's going to have some action here. Oh, and it's the SMG as well. Zip may steal a few from him. Got about seven bullets. Might consider a reload. Config pulls out the nade at the opportune moment, and it is going to be the massacre. Three for Config on that, and Zip takes the pair. That's perfect. If you are going up against a full eco exactly like that, you want to make sure that you're destroying them, not dropping a body, not having to reinvest. Now they can operate with these two SMGs on Config and Glaive. They can go for some water control. Maybe they want to push in towards Connector. The options are plentiful here to operate against Spirit's first buy, and it will be without the AWP in the hands of Dexter. Not going to opt to go for the Scout here, so it's going to be four AK-47s and chop it into a Galil. The Util is there to operate with these Executes, and Config lost out an early monster smoke there as per tradition. Siren does get across. The extinguish implies presence playground magics. Oh, wow, he's brave. Smoke flashes and low HP. He will surely go down. Magics lives on for a moment longer. Nade evade. And he's back, at least alive and kicking. Yeah, well, both teams dissuaded from holding on to that territory. So in the dark now, information-wise, but that one plays out a little bit better for Astralis here. No pressure will be coming through the, so the short position for some time. And because of that, Chopper going around the world now to group with his pack towards A. Siren and Dexter now met by the in-game leader as they crawl and take some territory back towards Fountain. Molly, Flash, Combo, and Aggression. So this is now secured. The information game going back and forth, but now... In the palm of Astralis' hands, they know that unlikely for this to be a B play anytime soon. Yeah, nice to see Patsy. He's already managed to kind of divide and, I would say, conquer. A smoke in his face will shave time off of that progression. They still have two smokes, a couple of flashes left over right now. Well, they, they did have two smokes. God, Astralis have really got their finger on the pulse. The only, perhaps, deviation from that could be Chopper if he shows contact and takes... Zip that out. bloody train, oh, Alex. Oh, the train actually does obstruct. The Molotov does not stop Chopper with an They're opener. they Don't speak too soon. Bomb was Fountain. So it is just Farley at this point in time. Config has gone to go and support. A missed Molotov was all it took. Now starting to work it out. And Farley has taken down the first. The whole squad's here. And with 10 seconds, Spirit, fine margins here. Bombs, Bombs down. down. Surely the round as well. Farley making it look easy. As he defends the site, Dexter gives a good go. But he is up the creek without the paddle and will just hold on to that AK. Easiest clutch of Zipex's life right there. Just staying alive. Gets himself the 1v X over Dexter. But 
Got a little bit dicey for a moment or two. That one kill drew a full rotation. Fortunately, Farley with some good form. Second highest rated player for Australia so far in the event. Just behind Blame. Well, not just behind Blame. Behind Blame. Yeah. The Farley stat was crazy as well. Have you ever seen that before? 100% on the CT side. His CT yeah. openings, he has not lost an opening duel and he's taken 31% of them. Yeah, which is very curious. And you add that to the amount that Blame takes as well. The two of them are the ones involved in a lot of these opening exchanges. That's crazy when you have somebody like Config in yeah. the team. Yeah, well, he kind of... Oh, where did Chopper's health just go? Already, Magix is... Oh, oh, Sticky second nade. guessing it. But Chopper should push through. And Blame will greet him with hot lead. Three remaining for Spirit's Armored Tech 9. Bit over-invested for Degster. Of course, with a saved AK, 350. He's got to boast, and he hasn't got any teammates to facilitate. Surely he could get a frag out of this. Put Flame on his bottom, not to be. Astralis, they are looking fierce in our opening. Yeah, great stuff here, but it... Well, now because of that Dex to save, might be a moment or two, and unless there's a drop that can come on through to get that AWP in his hands, right? Now, the Dusk was talking about it, bringing up the conversation about Dex on the T side and openings. Well, that is really going to be facilitated on a map like Overpass with the AWP. It's his primary weapon. It's the weapon he's most well known for, but he will have to wait out another gun round or two before he can even purchase that because there's not even one to scavenge. Astralis don't need it just yet. Double incendiaries every time that will stall out this early play towards A. The extinguisher again, and finally up over. And a bit of an off angle there. Okay, well. A bit more direct this time from Spirit. Four of them already here. Farley is going to fall away. Doesn't have the support of Blame as it currently stands. So a lot resting on his shoulders here. It's his restraint. And it's his responsibility. He's got long. He has to check that with cursory glance now, which is the gap as Patsy progresses. Gosh, he will have the shadow if they opt for the main toilet entrance. It's Patsy. Has impressed. Certainly on some of his CT maneuvers, and that is Farley completely. Oh, completely just past This is two of them. So there's zero info for Astralis. He will have to say it. Oh, never mind. There's some steps. There's some pins. And now Blame looks to activate. Coming up from the stairs. Spotted. Farley spots out one. Dexter's back is turned. And that should be his frag every day of the week. Farley trifling with trouble. Multiple targets. Multiple avenues. And nicely handled onto the first. Magic's long and he's known. But the bomb now down. Three from Bankside. Farley behind enemy lines. He has the support of Blame. Is he going long? Yeah, Blame's going to flank for two. Long. Nice clear. They will not be expecting another. Can they round the corner in time? <laughs> Didn't oh, see him. wow, this is getting crazy. Just swings and roundabouts. Still, you to be dropped, big but kill. nice clear from Glaive. What does that leave them with? Long, big fight. Siren does need to get that, and now already low. Magix has yet to frag. Three Danes chasing them down, foaming at the mouth. Magix to try and cage them. He has to knock them off the bomb, and it's only the one. It looked promising for a second. Astralis 5. Well handled there, but very dicey. How many players did Spirit send out just to find Farley? Multiple members coming back from long to try and take that kill. And that's it work from Farley there. Got the opening, converted the round. Yeah, Beautiful well stuff. Be keeping tabs on this throughout the day here. And there got... is a... Sorry to talk over no, you. There, no a, there is a balance, isn't there, between like he lets them go and he's probably acknowledging it's possible, but it's the fact that he, that he let them go that leads to him being such a, a nuisance in the mid-round. Yeah, well, this is one of the things with overpass. You think that you just kind of have to stop them at the wall, but no, it's about understanding as part of your defense where they can get through with what timings and then using that against them. But this is Blame, hyper-aggressive, had a look, didn't see a lot, flash again, still called clear. Lots of early T utility. That's two of their five smokes already deployed. Still no AWP here on the T side for Spirit. Yeah. Product of that saved AK, perhaps. Patsy down and out. Blame has got connector on lock. And if you can count on Blame to keep control of the connector of this map, it's really going to limit Spirit's options. Look how quick Siren is. Well, with the timing right now, they have to know this is a possibility, right? I mean, at 13, it's more than possible at this point. So they have to be aware. They have to glance on over at some point. But Farley right now, isn't. it's not being accounted for. Oh, Farley. Dead. El deleted by Siren. And he is looking elite. Config has to rotate through. This is a duel. Config down and out. Siren has got the sight. You can see his eyes light up wide. Zip confirms monsters clear. And the bomb will go down on A. What do you do with this one, Astralis? You've already five rounds to the good. Very disconnected. And it doesn't look like they're starting yeah. to get a move on for this. Glaive clearing out towards B. Blame. This late lurk. If he could find Dexter. If he could... Take this pick, and Dex is going to hear some footsteps now for sure. Yeah, but they are so far away heading to T-Spawn. I guess it's just for damage now, and Blame not ready for that. Well, Red, Dexter, 
will post his third frag, and Spirit will post their first round. Getting it done without the AWP, right? I thought that that might be a big problem. We have spoken about this before with teams like Outsiders when they go for a lot of these saves early, and then it takes a while to get Jane the AWP and get the full buys out. But here for Spirit, getting it done with the five rifles. Chopper has an AWP in his hands right now. Yeah, and I was impressed as well to see that, it, you know, it's unlikely in many people's mind that it's going to be the, the Orpa that has the highest T rating for Spirit. Dexter is the one to be cracking open for these boys and, you know, not with not necessarily needing the Orp. Well, the thing is, in this CT side of meta that we definitely do, I actually, I do believe coming into Overpass today, it was the only map so far at the Major that had uh, a higher percentage of T rounds won. But I think it was like... 50.5 percent right but it's <laughs> overpass yeah, yeah of all yeah. the maps yeah and i thought that was a, was a little bit odd to see in this in this very ct side of meta i, d I don't know how that's going to correlate exactly to a match like this we have seen astralis play it uh, once against mibr yesterday 16 13 victory but you can see that i mean they are playing it by the book and, and by they of course referring to the danes just taking that early info when it's free and they've got it so of course does set magics into Somewhat of a slow crawl. B. Different setup immediately here, though. Three towards A from Astralis now. And as you mentioned, yeah, they're turning their attention towards B right now. So Spirit have actually called Astralis into a position where they are on the w heading towards the weaker bomb site. Yeah, this is perfect. If you can avoid pull this the train, off, avoid the train this time. <laughs> Nose flash, heaven smoke. Look how blind he is. A reaction strong. And it does seem like they're cancelling it. Was it really as simple as the flames? But a utility just gets on out and it stalls them out completely here. But a double pump possible. They have the util. Oh, well, they're lacking the smoke to do this again. It's pulled config back. The heaven smoke was thrown and now they're coming in with a second pump. Interesting. Zip. It's a powerful angle. Turns the flash. Easy. The second he eats it up. Oh, and they keep coming. Isolating. But config, the only one with vision, is good for two. Nice on the AK from up down. Glaive and Zip are low in the sight. That shadow should be the end of Zip. Hunted down and still stands his ground. Nice shutdown from Magix. But look at this from Glaive. During all of this, he's pushed past. He's made it towards Monster. He's behind he them and they don't survive. know. They if have no idea where he is. just survive, Magix is just a sitting duck to be plucked. Dexter, though. Wow, look at the restraint out of blame. Magix is dead, man. And that should make Dexter's uh, round almost impossible. Time alone. His worst enemy. He's going to lose the orb. He doesn't even get to fire a bullet of it, Chad. Horrible scenes for Spirit and immediately slapped back down into submission. Yeah, great work from Config right there because he rotates over and then it's silent. So he's doubting that rotation. Still gets two kills from the heavens there. And in Glaive, sure, it looks like he's kind of selling Zipex out in that entire situation. He's securing the round. Right. right that position that he pushed on into right there. Whoa, that first one there. Still had a patty and the second was beautiful too. But th And this is all a product of this double pump. I don't know... You know, it's 1.5, not necessarily a full double, but the smoke fades. Config's had all of the bells and whistles to rotate, and he's got a nice shooting gallery onto two. It seems a bit mismanaged. Yeah, I, I think lacking that utility, not being able to commit because of the counter yeah. utility, and now into, well, a lighter upgrade for Chopper, a Galil for Magix, and an oh. again, back towards Beast and early. Flak damage done. They do have some space and Glaive. Maybe they're take a fight. talking a lot here, and his suspicions are at least acknowledge. So they're pushing through this. Look at Magix. Wow, that's fast. 90 seconds, and they're already going down. Two bodies drop on the site. It's only Config. Can he do it again? He did manage to find two on the defense. Siren to clear. Or maybe they'll assume it is clear. You hear one towards short. Magix is tuck watching heaven. Chopper staring at the potential on ABC. This was a 3v5. Do Astralis really have the means? Nice engagement onto Patsy, but he doesn't take too much of a beating. Farley fully invested, not too interested, I would imagine. Trying to get him out here. I think Farley has a smoke to try and deploy to get Config out. They right. are going to save. Go! Ooh. Yeah, okay. A little bit of damage done, but they will get him on out alive. So keeping Config with a weapon up. That's going to be the AWP and M4 and an AK carried on through the buy. Possible now. Flame can drop. Farley can do exactly the same. And they're going to be looking good for another gun round here. But Spirit with a bit more quickness and to it's, their play. It's, it, you know, it's such a big win to not only be able to throw a pacey play straight after a, a, a harrowing round loss, but to win it so convincingly, it is going to keep Astralis' defenders paranoid that that can work. That is a possibility and that Util won't be so restrained in dropping. Yeah, so now it would be a question if Astralis want to change things up by playing heavier and connected to get that crossfire going on between Shaw and Connector. It gives the T's a couple more things to worry about, but doesn't look like they're going back towards that B play immediately. More into a default spread, a couple of quick flashes out to 
did I Farley vision? He will take a pot shot. That is going to confirm his location. And Dexter, one back through, is helping piece the puzzle together for both teams. Door blown off. Farley now posted up long and might have a duel against two. Or oh, misses, has to drop off and pops a bit of a dink on the way down. Must have been through the wall right there, only to 76 points of health. No, it was the bulletproof petunias. Ah, I see. You've got okay. to watch out for them. There's a couple of them on the Special map. Special type of fertilizer. Yeah. Let's see what Config's off angle has got for him. It should be an easy tap. Oh, it's a lovely play from Config. He is already looking on his A game today. Oh, coming through for another yeah, he, he just wants to fight. Anybody willing to put themselves in a duel with him, he will greet them with a smile and a spray. Smoke down from Astralis. How many more have we got them? Two, Farley and Blame, typically your A players. Seems right now that Spirit are, are trying to pull them around, right? Make sure that Astralis are constantly rotating because they've just put pressure on A, pushed the Orpa back, and then tried to slink through Monster to find a kill. Now, they were, de were denied that space, but trading back in a one for one, four on four, 35 seconds, and heading towards A, where there's a bit of a stack right now from Astralis. Do they stick to their guns or do they drop on back? No one's going to force him to. No one's going to give him presence onto Blame's position. They can count on him. And so, Glaive, he is calling a great game here. The rotates, they've Spotted. been on the money. 20 seconds. I'd be nervous. Patsy isn't. Breaks in. Siren from long still. And finally knows there was a presence there. Hanging out on Optimus. Three bodies cross into the site. He should be up tonight into the bot bottom of Chopper. Patsy, however, should enable a plant. Just in the nick of time. Blame flank. Yes. The two of them. The unstoppable force, the immovable object, and now just the one. Blame the boulder. 11 and 3. Looking to go 1v3. Patsy and Dexter remaining. And okay, now the 1v1. It gets scary. He's got smoke kit. Doesn't expect toilets. Considers Optimus. He's so focused on truck, but Dexter's not having any info during all of this. Time will become a priority. Hasn't dropped the smoke. So convinced. A bit of a misread here from Blame. Can he recover? I don't know if there's time now. He really doesn't have a clue. Looking the wrong way. And nice close from Dexter to keep Spirit in it. Must have been a miscom there. Maybe. The fact that he's so glued to that position, I'm not sure what piece of information we missed throughout all the flurry because we were chopping and changing through all of that fire. And I suppose there must have been some info going the wrong way right there. So this is it. Glaive gets spotted on up on the push on through. Patsy up and over. Patsy takes down Config and... Ah, I'm not sure why it was so glued on in of the decks of the Did Patsy pick up an open fire shot? You just saw that him pick it up. That could have been it. Yeah, that could have been the, the, the devil in the detail right there. Oh. Well, either way, yes. Spirit have done a great job. They've humbled Astralis right now, put them down to once just a couple of pistols. And when I say a couple, a Deagle and a Scout. It's a pretty long pistol in Conflict's yeah. hand, I imagine. Pretty expensive, too. So they just want to go before any stacks can occur. Of course, there could be one off the call, off the break, but it does seem like they've got their intentions ironed out. Drop some mollies. It's a Saturday night, and ooh, play. Oh no, 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 Spirit. Spirit cannot lose this round. Saved by the Glock. It's Dexter to finish him off, but damn threatening and imposing presence with nothing more than the starter pistol. May as well try and do a bit more damage here if you're Astralis. You got this Deagle. Maybe try and boost Blame up, boost Config up with the Scout, one of the two. Yeah, that's the play, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, see if you can find a fight or just swing with the USP. But uh -oh. no, he's going to be a kill. On to Dexter, 2v3 situation. Oh! Another one from Config. What was that? The Dane does it and Blame finishes. Astralis will take it with a single Scout. A Desert Eagle. That is a disaster for the Spirit. Oh, they were just jostled for control. A 1v1 goes their way and then they fumble. Glaive gets two there with the USB on the way in. It looked perfect, didn't it? Then not even considering that position whatsoever. So good towards Monster. You feel like Dex has done enough. They have the sight, and then this, this happens. This second shot what a is shot. a shot. This one was bang. Okay, okay. Astralis come to play. Spirit. They might want to take a timeout. That's going to be under your skin. That would have been a great opportunity right now to really lay down a couple of extra T rounds. It would have been a fourth guaranteed. And we know how hard T rounds in this current meta are to come by. So that one could Ooh. come back to haunt them here. Yeah. Bit of a... Can't call it an unforced area. It does take some good clicks out of the Astralis boys. Patsy whittled away at through the board. Oh my god, not even whittled away. He's been carved into 13 HP. And Glaive's got more where that came from. This util will force this boost off. Guys, extinguish. Dexter, however, worth noting, has found an opening into the site. 
Barrel's still a threat, and he has to pull the plug on that. Magix, however, builds oh. onto it. It's blamed from the underpass. Finally silenced by Magix, kept to just the one. Spirit completely undaunted by the fumble in the previous. Well, they know that Farley and Blame are dead, and they're traditionally the A holders, so they're trying to turn tail, but is it a fake right now? They're sending the feeler of Config forward. He could catch them all off guard oh. here. Oh, they're not staring at it. Nice work from Siren. Addresses the issue, and Magix will confirm where that last lingers. You might hear him there. Glaive long, they say. Yeah, lots of talking right now from Magix here, so 100% confirmed. It might even get the kill, too. On the flank, Glaive's already made it halfway around the world. Having a picnic, talking that one out. Hello? 4 by four 3 three. Yeah. He actually got 4 by 3 Well, wouldn't be the first time. What is it, 70 or 80% of the pros are, are playing 4 by 3 still? Yeah, look, I, I want to I wanna have a conversation about it, but apparently this is what the best players in the world do, yeah. other than Rops and Kinder and Chopper gets the kill. So there you have it. It will be the fourth. It wasn't against the uh, Eco. They get it done the hard way against the gun round right there. And if I do believe we've been calculating our numbers correctly, that is the first time Farley has died as an opening kill on the CT side of uh, four and uh, three and a half maps. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, good catch. Good catch. Chad is switched on, folks. Yeah, the four by three thing. I mean, I think that should be, you know, screw Twitter. That should be, be we should call it getting ratioed. <laughs> yeah, actually. You yeah. got ratioed hard, bro. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm with you. We can use the cool lingo of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that comment is definitely and, not and mid, it Alex. Will, it, will upset, it will upset people so hard. Like, no one asked, get ratioed. Glaive, change the 16 by 9. Yeah, take the L. Yeah, take the L. Are we doing it right, guys? Let us know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up with it. Over there on the B stream, IHC taking on Imperial. I do believe the first map of play is Mirage, IHC's choice. Second map, they will be moving into an overpass and Inferno as the third if they do need it. That's the Mongolian side taking on the Brazilian Hopes and Dreams. However, Furia, I think uh, maybe oh, they, they should have. take that mantle. They're already in the legend stage and they look amazing. Love me some Furia action. But look at this, back down towards the pistols once more. Blame with an M4. Now, we can't count them out of a round like this. We've already seen it go in their favor, at least for Spirit. They're heading towards A this time round. You can see this death pack. Slightly delayed, two prongs to this assault. You're holding that potential long flank. You don't want anyone arriving in parties. You set up your nades in toilet, and they will just converge onto what is currently a three-man stacked site. Smokes are in the air. Information relayed. Deep M4's smoke. Here. And the M4 has made it to long. So Astralis, again, consistently in the right place. It's a question of putting your crosshair there as well. Farley could be another opening CT death here. There oh, it is. and he is. Back to back, Farley stats. Taking a beating, as is Astralis. Looks good for the fifth here. Spirit, really have recovered this T half. And that's going to be starting to feel good. You can shake it off, in the words of Taylor Swift. And come in with a solid haul. Five's great, six sounds better. Astralis, this time, not so potent with the pistols. Okay, well, now they're going to be getting things back together. With uh, a buy coming on through. A Famous for Zip and an MP9 for Glaive. So it's not the best of buys, but it's the best they can bolster right here, right now. And this is before the half gets too out of control. Trying to limit Spirit to five in total here. Astralis would love to get the double digits. Blame up, over, takes a peek. The extinguish is there. And you 2 coming over the top. He has a good idea about the slide jump. Uh-oh. Uh, spotted. And that's another Dexter death. Has not been able to have too much impact. With that AWP, meets these M4s, and Chopper already caught through the boards. It's Patsy that's the next victim, and all oh, backs are turned. They haven't seen a single one of their opponents so far, and this round's already done. It's an early one. Three kills to Astralis in the opening 30 seconds. Just not accounting for that level of aggression right there. You could see it was a bit more focused from Dexter. He didn't expect the player to have jumped up and pushed towards that position immediately. But they've been doing it so consistently. I mean, I know they haven't had that information. They haven't had those engagements. But from our perspective, it's impressive that Astralis just are so unwilling. You know, sometimes it is Farley in toilets just being a bit of a canary. But majority of the time, when Blame is over there, he's happy to take a push. If you chop it right now for the re last remaining two, Magix and Siren, the goal would be damage. Get as many kills as you can right here because the economy is still quite fragile for Astralis. Remember, MP9 for Glaive and a Famous for Zip. If you could take a gun or two away right here, it's going to limit what the purchases are into the next. 
AWP has been scooped on up. There is enough money to buy right now for Spirit going into the next round of play here. So if they're thinking very, very late game, which I suppose we're already at, might just want to hold on to what they have. But I would love to see them get a little bit more pep in the step for a kill or two. Yeah, you've got three rounds to play out. Is it really just going to be a game of uh, musical statues? Was that what we played at, in the yeah, parties? Yeah, well, there's no music playing right now. No, maybe a really small violin. Well, Clay's coming on over, wants to see what he can scoop. You know, an AK does sound better than an MP9. Yeah, and a Famous. So both of them are going to get upgrades here. There'll be no damage done. Now established a very strong buy, and everybody staying alive means Australians have residual cash if they do lose this next round of play. Spirit not going to have any dramas with those purchases on in, and there's only two more rounds to play on out here. So I think just playing for the last in case they do lose this one with that save. I mean, it, uh, it's just a quiet 16 out of blame here. We were talking about him being high rated and the highest rated on CT side so far, three maps deep, and he's got 16 and six, Chad. He has the only one to have broken double digits. He's got the same score as two of his teammates combined, if not more. Extinguish heard. That was the deep playground, Molly. And um, they've been very, very punished for these uh, underpass fights. You've got bangs Ooh, through the boards, and blame is a problem. If he does want to fight, though, I wouldn't want to trifle with Dexter and Patsy. They don't want to trifle with blame F. Three leaning monster side. They look to be regrouping early, and they've had successes hitting this site as a unit. But you can see the setup from Astral. It's like Blame wouldn't, it wouldn't take much. He's going to be here immediately. Exactly. Yeah, there's going to be four of them to defend this site, right? The Execute is being lined on up. The one removed from the pack is Config over towards Long. So Farley's AWP is here. They can lock this one down. Here they come. This is going to be a very quick round. Breaking through. Kicking open the door. Magic's onto Farley. Zipex flustered. Magic's trying to be the pointy end of this spear. He's got short to deal with. Zip hiding out on the barrels. on Molotov just yet. Chopper considering it. It's Glaive to try and take that monster fight. They're out of nades. They can't reinitiate. Spirit want to take aim jewels on the fade. That's a nice angle found by Glaive. Does miss his chance. Zip doesn't. Molotov down, and it's three in the feed from Astralis. Blaine contributes. Patience does prevail, but still 40 seconds. Both here. Util dumped. It's Dexter. Orp up close. He can do some of his best work in these scenarios. He knows Blaine was sandbags. This should favor Dexter. But Blame's too good. Another for his frags. 19 now as he racks them up. And damn, Astralis completely lock out Spirit. Beautiful. It's up to nine. Can get that double digits. 10 is possible here. But Spirit there, the fact that they just stole it on out, as I mentioned, they were just looking for aim jewels on the fate. The only piece of utility that I believe they had left after that X who came on through was a Molotov. So there wasn't like a let's wait, let's push, let's push into the canal, flash, and then retake these fights. It was, what can we do? We just kind of have to sit. We have to wait and unable to initiate anything. Actively into the site, Config's been able to rotate on over and they lock them out. Plenty of cash for the buy here for Spirit's last round of play on their first half of their map choice. They'd love to get six here. Blame back into his cave. This is a bit quicker. There is pace. Patsy's really sick of this spam, really starting to have a bad day in the office, finally. Or at least it is the final round of it. Setting this boost up, there must be a contingency for it. Not currently actually established. You can see Zip forward on Monster. Glaive towards There's Short. Blame again. He's lost Patsy again. This is Flame so stubborn in his hold. He will go down even for a 4v4. Config's running out of bullets, Chad. He's only got 30 left. Well, he only needs four. So, ah, okay, uh... I see. Zip? It's a... Common clear, just needs to try and take one of the two. Does soften him up for the nades. And Glaive, oh, ooh, lives on. Should be hunted down now. Holding firm on the site is Magic's a nice find. Double onto the site defense. And so Spirit looking to close with a sick. It's just Farley that can flip the script. 5-7 and an AWP, his weapons of choice. Dexter's posted and Farley flicks. Scary now. Don't forget Siren's low. He could be susceptible to a wall bang. Farley crawling now. Siren, do you really want to take that risk? Get the info and oh. snaps onto the nether. Farley looking to come up, Clutch. He knows where Magix is. Both low. Farley looking to do something rather special for Astralis. And he will with a 1v3. Coming up, Clutch to close. And that is another nasty one for Spirit to stomach. Dangerous indeed. That's two massive rounds right there on the B retakes. One was a bloody eco with a scout. But this one here from Farley, Bruh. the last round of the half. Beautiful stuff. And you can see there the conversation was, Siren, take 
contact as soon as Magic shoots. And he does exactly as he's told. Doesn't realize it's on the jump. Gets himself in the open. Gets himself taken down and isolating that fight. Beautiful work from Farley right there. That's the type of round you want to see from your Orpa to close. Ooh, yeah. I mean, especially when you're in, you know, you're in a team with royalty here. That's how you earn their respect, Chad. You win rounds like this at the major. Beautifully played from the Orpa, newest edition, and certainly paying his dues. Looking good. You can see GG bet favors Astralis, and I don't think there's much of a surprise as to why. Yeah, blame, like, not only were we talking about him being the highest rated CT player in the tournament, I guess CT meta, so that's a huge thing to have. He is the, the highest rated player ah. uh, in the tournament. So he's doing wonders for his stat lines right here. And the way that he's playing, he's been involved in, I think, three opening fights. He's been aggressive up towards Fountain. He's been pushing towards Connector, but pushing towards A. And Dexter gets one. The trade is there. Farley will get one for one. They're across. Patsy will try and lock them in there. And finally, actually continuing to go walk about. Heaven smoke. Finally, late to arrive. The rest already into the site. This is a big duel. Patsy is distracted. Oh. Wow, Magix at least does shut Farley down quick. He is going to. Oh, nice supportive flash. And so the pistol is all on to blame. Can he clutch as well? Inspired by that of Farley. A USP sounds better than the Glock. He will get out of trouble initially. But the bomb is on the site, so he's got 60 seconds to think this one through. He's happy to biff. He's happy to brawl. And there's more clicks to be so had. Bad. He gets the info. If you're spirit, you are flustered now, aren't you? Just a little bit. The ghost of blame floats ethereally into the site and he hasn't got anyone in his sights. Bomb still there and in 30 seconds rotten off the clock. Another 30 to play. Worried about pushes for info. They are starting to group up and clear. Swinging. Yeah. Oh, and just as he pulls out the butterfly, that should be the end of that. Spirit take the must-win pistol. I think it started to get sweaty as well because he was there. It was missing for so long. It's like, has he actually gone around the world? Like, is Blame really going for this type of a play here to come behind us at any given moment? So pushing, taking the fight, finding him out, securing the pistol, grabbing the sixth, and a nice one there from Spirit. I was really impressed by that kill from Farley right there as he came out of door. The fact that he gets one in the immediate trade, really nice work from both teams in that regard. But once they got caught in the crossfire between sandbags and the push out from CT spawn, that's when it was all over Red Rover. And well, similar scenes as to how the first half unfolded. Astralis will be taking a practical full save here. The P250 in Blame's hand is the best they have to boast in the buy department. Chopper about to jump and get a bit of an eyeful. Two spotted. <laughs> Just seeing him desperately think, hmm. The only nade he had was the incendiary. Doesn't quite fit the bill. Patsy shouldn't have too many issues as he does take down Glade. Pops him like the balloons at the party. Zip. His next victim. One of the key differences in this round from what we saw Astralis do in their first half, I think they had three M4s and two MP9s. This is two Famuses and M4 and two MP9s. So now when the AKs come out, you, you're going to be favoring it. Uh, never uh, mind. They've sorted that out, haven't they? They fixed that little <laughs> problem they might have been having. Dexter into an AWP immediately here. So that's the difference maker right here, right now. And the stats that the desk pointed out at the start was, sure, Blame's the highest rated CT player, but then you have Patsy, you have Dexter, and you have Magix all in the top 10 as well. So these are three strong performers on the CT side of the tournament thus far. On Dust 2, mind you, let's see how they go on overpass. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen Spirit on a map that's not Dust 2. It's not orange. Yeah. This is unusual. It's, it's a bit colder over here as yeah. well. Oh, very standard stuff for Astralis out the gates here. Was it a default spread without connector presence? They have a pack, a wolf pack of four. Cleaning up the playground. Making a wish at the fountain and dropping a smoke towards the front bathrooms. Long control to be established, and Dex's AWP posted up towards party. The contact from Long will be identified by Chopper. He's playing passively right now over towards Bank, just jump spotting. All he's here for is info. Mm. And uses utility right now to stall them out and the push, and actually he's backing on off, so the gap left wide open. Nobody will be able to determine when that Long presence is coming. It is a gamble stack towards B right here. Just Dexter, just Dexter alone right now. 
Yeah, a bit of an island for him, and they're about to execute alongside. Chopper's going to be scarpering over to provide assistance. Dexter, though, he's really forward of all of this. He knows Blaine could be hiding in those toilets. Patsy to provide support just as Blaine looks away. It's a real close one. Kept level three. Two members of the Danish roster remain. Farley is the next victim of Chopper's SMG. Oh. Careful, Glaive's in the server and makes it clear. With 20 seconds, he has to find Chopper. Knows Patsy's coming from behind. He has had a chance onto that first fight. But that spirit really putting their teeth into this defensive half. They have converted and they force Astralis down again. You can see 3.5 high end. This gap will become just the one round as long as we don't see a fumble out of spirit. They've had a couple. They've recovered on their own volition, but this is where you do have to knuckle down. Putting a lot of faith in Dexter there to make sure that he doesn't just go on down, because if he gets obliterated in that situation, it might be a completely different looking round. So great stuff for Dexter to get one, hold them at the line, allow that rotation to come in, allow Patsy to chime on in and have a bit of a push to make this one possible. So flashes up and over to now Patsy to peek, and he will do exactly that. Deagle spotted by, confirmed on the other side. Team Flash, sure. But not going to be the end of the world. This config creeping through. Would love to find the dome here of Siren. He is ahead of the smoke. Config is no slouch. What to be feared and already connecting bullets. It's Glaive's Deag as well that fills the feed. From long. What was their 4v5 win percentage? Not great. Not against Deegs though, right? Not against Deegs. Chompa, long range, AK in play. It's the perfect weapon for the job. He is concerned about the site. They have left him alone on to deal with all of this. And the fights will keep coming his way. The Eagles, a P250, certainly not terrible. Finally to draw the crosshair out. And Chopper's handled business here. Closes up shop. Just config and zip. Recovered M4 is nice. The bomb on his back and spotting out not only the bomb, but config himself. I want to go down here, boys. You do need this loss bonus right here, right now. I know they're looking for some damage, but the longer they stall out the clock, if Spirit won, they can just relinquish this control, get back into the site, and force Astralis to come to them. M4 could be retained. Is that really what you're looking to have for next on Config? He goes down, Siren obliterates him, and now it just is zip. Ten seconds left, the round is done, the round is dusted. And he won't even get a kill onto Dexter right there. So removed and massive. Today's about bucking trends for both of these teams, apparently. Farley with that 100% on the CT side success rate. That's gone, we can wipe that slate clean. And now, Spirit, well, the 4v5, 0% on the CT side. They're starting to make that look a little bit nicer too. So I'm sure that will be a nice little bump up. Yeah, I mean, we start. Let's start with the you know beginner level, then intermediate, <laughs> yeah. then we get into intermediate. Step at a time. <laughs> well, here we go. Astralis is well full by now. Everything they'd want for a standard round of play here. Finally, AWP is up to one round game right now, and Dexter, Whew. a Scary. chance. Shot just whistles by, letting him know he's going to be around to be pesky at A this time round. An extra flash or two, a run boost. None of this complexity. Dry walk out long into James shenanigans. They're going to have to use some util to deal with his position right now. The flow chart starts taking its steps, a run boost long, a flash as well. Wow, look at these procedures that stop the AWPA from viably shutting down the one-man long push. Everybody's learning today, I think. <laughs> Whoa, hang on, what are you up to, Dexter? You got the whole squad coming your way. I think he realizes his shortcomings. He will have to tuck around just in time. Never mind, the bomb has been put on a platter for him. Ooh. Expect a boost, a quick flick out of Dexter. Perhaps Farley can peek off a config's bait. That's enough of him. The flash is enough to deter, and he will just concede long. Instead, you focus on ch Chopper's position. Hold toilets, push forward, and have your bank players provide some assistance. Sirens arrived to do just that. Util dumped. We've got about 40 seconds, Chad. The bomb committed to Here's this the patsy long. Push. Oh, zip. He's responsible for it and confirms yeah, that the so presence is coming. Ball. They're in the hurt locker, and from every angle, there is CT. Look at this map. They are in the box. You They're can have long. That's fine, guys. Good it's luck. All, it's all yours. It's all yours. Can they really dig themselves Flex out of this one? Again. Farley gets the info. Happy survival oh! would have been nice, but Config catches one twice through. His teammate Farley takes down Patsy, but that's the end of that. That's just to get on out. They had to <laughs> sacrifice Config to the gods just so they can hold on to this AWP. Yeah, they led him up the stairs, laid him down, just asked him to take a nap. 
Oh, well, Magis is coming here. I'm not sure he's going to get there in time. Three, two, one, and the round will have transpired here. So they've got five more seconds to make a move on, but looking likely that Co uh, Farley holds on to that AWP. And fortunately, considering how that one unfolded, but maybe getting a little bit ahead of himself with that push from Glaive, right? So far with the bomb, understanding he wants to run down against the space that Dexter continues to re-peak to apply pressure on that AWPer. But dropping the bomb and allowed that push of Patsy that was perfectly highlighted by our ops team, that was coming on through. So no matter what was going on as far as these fights, if they oh, didn't get the kills quick, there was no way they were getting out of this alive. And that's well, tough. Do you think, knows that feels. You know, is it possible even at this level of competition that you don't quite process you have the bomb? You know, Glaive, it's, he's a thinking man. He's not probably chasing an AWPer with the bomb on his back. As crazy as it sounds, yeah. Yeah. Right, because it might have got dropped to you as you're in the pack or whatever, and you're busy calling, and you just didn't identify that little detail. But does completely tie us up here. And with the door naded off, this sandbag's position works twofold. It gives them that sight line into connector there. And they are going to be worried as they round the corner and connector off sandbag, off sewer, and up the stairs. They are allowing Farley's mm. AWP here to work. Who's responsible for Monster Lands? The conversation's had. It's Siren. Oh, good timing, but repelled. Nice support. Uh, drop of the incendiary. It's all the orb and Dexter shuts down Farley. He's got more on the plate. And down goes Zip. No resistance at all. Magic does adjust into that secondary angle. And this could be Spirit taking the lead of our first map. Their map pick, no less. Overpass pulled down. It seems they're not just a one-trick pony. Dust 2 works, so does Overpass. So they are six rounds of play here on this CT half of Spirit. And Dex has found the opening kill in four of them. Mm. The pistol round and then three rounds with the AWP so far. So... Finding a lot of traction here for Team Spirit on this CT side. Well, Blame, 21 and 11. This is the thing, right? We've been talking about his CT prowess, and he did his job. He yeah. did what he needed to do on the CT side. This is where Config is the tit to that tat. Mm. Right? And he's the individual who needs to step on up and find them some openings. I think Farley is... Damage done. Bomb would love to get it down and will be allowed to plant. So great stuff from Blame here. Glaive's going to be happy with that one. Going to give them some cash to work with into the next round of play. A nice injection. 800 bucks extra for getting it down. I blame one on five. This yeah. would be something. He's got the impress. Let's see if he can impress. Spirit caged. Staring at long. Multiple peaks. Info gained. Turns the flash. Ready to spray. Oh, My oh, God, oh. did you see the damage? There's a different universe somewhere where Blame has just flipped that table and flipped spirits, hopes, and dreams. My God, okay. If that one went wrong, I would have had to question a lot about my life because there were smokes, there were flashes, there <laughs> yeah. was five players and alive. And they all just swing. And then they still thought there was a little bit of a chance right there as they take that fight onto the big man himself. A sip of water, a timeout taken, a conversation to be had. Trace, legend of the 1.6 days, now coaching this Australis roster. Another one, yeah, I know for the Danes to have a bit of a chit chat here and try and set this right because six consecutive rounds right now on this CT hole for Spirit, the trend needs to be bucked. Astralis only managed five out the gates before Spirit were able to pick up a T-sided round. That plant from Blame, it's worth its weight in gold. It, it should signify another buy. It's even allowed Farley to get out of the AWP again. Now they've done quite a few A-centric plays. Just there they did try that limp on into B with Wow, uh, an opening kill going against them again from Dexter's AWP. They want to avoid this all, right? Identify where it is and try and push a weakness on the other side of the map without giving up a kill to Dexter, who this time is going to be heading over towards A. Yeah, I think it's better of it. The utility implies a heavy presence, doesn't want to succumb to a quick config swing, and oh, they are coming. Dexter, wise to relocate. Two up long. There's some real pep in the uh, step here of Config. You can see he's been given an objective, and it is to take space, ideally, with some dog tags as well. Well, this is when you turn to Config. He needs to find you something. They parked him towards long here as this beat control is established by Spirit, and they're starting to push. So guess what? Here yeah. they come, Zip. Yeah, he could be flashed off this. Interesting angle he's adopted, but as the smoke arrives, his attention is drawn, and Patsy needed the trade and provides it. We immediately level out. But once it's zip, you know it's the backyard B babysitter. Right. They know right now that that's a standard default round from Astralis. But Glaive knows they know. 
So we know there might be a change up here. Patsy does throw a couple of cursory shots through on the fading smoke. Look where the bomb is. That will need to be scooped up at some point here. It's left over towards playground at this juncture. 40 seconds left on the clock, so still enough time to get it. They are turning their attention back to B. Config will be late lurking long. Farley cannot get caught out here by this aggression of Siren. This bomb's getting a bit bit nervy now, lads. It's still playground. Chopper confirms long presence in its config V Chopper. Trying to keep feet planted. Farley immediately starting to scarper, but he's going to have to really pull up his socks and tighten his laces. 20 Siren's seconds. He's in T-spawn. Config shot. Oh. Oh. Okay, does meet Siren, but there is something to be said. It's Blame once again trying to play the game. Does go down to Dexter's orb, and Farley just doesn't have the time. He's only just arrived. That's going to be Spirit extending their lead and still undefeated, Chad. Yet to see them bleed on this defense. This info wars that's going on right now would have uh, Alex Jones impressed. He cannot believe the level that's going on here with some of these plays, right? Chopper with that jump towards the bank position, catches that push coming up long. Siren continues forward. And all that info of knowing that you took down Zip, right? They, they've actually been able to play them like a fiddle right here. Yeah. This is looking fantastic. Dexter is here, there, and everywhere, right? He started on A, was taking those initial exchanges. And then these are the kills with 18 seconds left on the clock. He's able to pick up over towards B. So this is great stuff from Dexter. He is really alive on this CT half, and he's loving it. Big yeah. smile on the face. You could just see like in their eyes, they're just so hyper-focused. Like this is it. It's all to play for right now. You've got two wins, one more, and you're, you're playing with the big boys. You're playing them right now, to be fair. Well, this is a change-up, right? They want to go for a B explode with this utility. Just trying to establish this short control and Patsy over towards connect with the crossfire with magics. They can shut them down right here, right now. Yeah, Patsy will have a sight line. Oh, we know. Perfect timing. Magic for the multi. Sprays down two. And Patsy for the slam dunk does get it down. It's only Farley. That save Dorps is getting him nowhere. On to the funny bone. Patsy ain't laughing, though. 70 seconds. Bomb loose. Aggressive. Flubs the flash. Chopper's posted. Farley's quick, though. Already a 1v3 under his belt of overpass. And it looks like Chopper could be isolated. Farley very quick on this trigger. Doesn't hard clear. Chopper profits. It's getting a little scary. 13 for Spirit, still yet to drop around. Admittedly, they are getting enough to keep pumping the AKs and the rifles into play, but Astralis, what hasn't been tried? Well, this is the thing, right? The T side of Overpass coming back to haunt them. I think we all remember that game against Heroic where Shush retook that A bomb site on the CT side, and then they really struggled to post those T side of rounds. Right now, we're seeing more issues of that. I think pace might have to be the option here, something a bit more brute force, something where they need to enable an individual to take a risk to take a gamble but back towards a with four one more time the flash is good patsy landed on up one back on over from dexter to enable another peak but there is a lot of pressure just on the other side of that playground wall you can see zip is he's just trying to use sound cues now to the best of his ability to keep those feet planted and extinguished that will have them hesitant patsy. it's just a default again though alex there's nothing different here it's a default round again one connector and dexter always somewhere different this time looking for his opening onto glaive Oops, bit of a fumble on the flash. Second, not required. And you can see Patsy's considering something he knows he can hear. At least one descending. Magics will unload a mag. To suppress that underpass presence. They look like they feel like they're safe here as Jars, but they're anything but. They are anything but right now. Patsy's forward position, as you mentioned, hearing everything, but oh. now he's gone. Huge kill from the in-game leader. They yeah. needed that. Yeah, that's a great catch. And now the disadvantage. Oh, it gets worse. Zip unloads through the smoke. Astralis' first D round looms the spirit. Losing that opening more often than not historically here at the Major does translate. Now they just need to regroup, trade efficiently. The only player that can stop them right now on this A bomb site is going to be Chopper towards Bank, and he needs to do a lot of work. Yeah, he really does have to turn the tables here. It's going to be so hard. All of that nade and... Unity. He's managed to just separate one from the pack. Config immediately there for the trade. And so sight is lost and the round is won. I guess just a stubborn default is going to be enough to break through. And it's the pick from Glaive. Takes down Patsy, who did, as you discussed, have so much room. But it all comes tumbling down and they do finally buck the trend. How many was that? Let's not forget a 10-5 half. 10 CT rounds and... I, think, row right I, also, I swear Blame had 21 frags at the half. Yeah, I, I think it was pretty damn close to that right here. And this is the thing. It's, it's that nobody's really been able to find a lot of traction right here on the no. T-side. We, we talk about Blame. We talk about his T-side prowess. IHC winning the first map against Imperial. Oh.
Wow, dude, if they go to... I'm with, I think I was the only person who predicted IHC to be Imperial uh, in, in the little tweeter sphere that we have going on yeah, right now. Okay. I have to I have to uh, represent the region, Alex. I was going but for also, Renegades, that, and now I'm going for IHC. That surprises me. I'd say watching you watch one IHC game, and yeah, you, you, watch, you, you watch one Imperial game, I think that's actually a pretty fair cop. Yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, we were talking about blame, CT oh, that's right. side. Yeah, no, I was just taking a look at C to see how the, the scoreboard has differentiated from that first half, but... It is really, I mean, the biggest takeaway, key takeaway, is that once you get Dexter, that big zoom banger, he's been able to have a very imposing presence onto this Danish T side. Let's see if they can strike twice. Zip trying to act like an army. Flashes monster, extinguished short, trying to keep those CTs guessing, pull some nades out of them. And it is a very heavy lean towards B from our CTs. Boosts, full underpass push, and... It's just that Dexter Orb long. He must be on a timer, right? He has to start getting concerned about Banana once that util is dropped. This is the thing. You oh. can start 4B four, four quite consistently here, Patsy. You have to be very careful about this. You have a teammate spamming your bullets through now as well. She's gapping that smoke. So he's going to take a lick of damage right there, getting away. And, well, he does get away. To note, as far as these opening kills, four Astralis have gone so far on their T-side. They've managed three. They've only been able to come up one round off of those. One was the Diga round with Glaive, where the rest of them just got minced. The other was the Zipex push, where the Info Play Spirit were able to outmaneuver Astralis. This time round, with 48 seconds on the clock, an opening kill still eludes Astralis here. And Dexter, yet to move, hasn't had to move. The rotations come across, and he's worried about this. Wow. Six cents or something going yeah. on for Dexter here. Oh, Config looking for him. He faked the steps away, and Config bites on the hook. Line, and indeed, here comes the sinker. Poor blame. Next victim of Chopper mowed down, and we could have a spotless one here. Farley trying to hide in plain sight. It's not to be, and Spirit back to their winning ways. Smirks creep onto their face, two away from taking their map pick. Dexter likes something he saw there, pointing at Chopper. Big smile on their face, loving the conversation. I think it worked out perfectly, <laughs> yeah. whatever the plan was. Doesn't go much better than that, denying the plant, putting Astralis in this position. Sure, the loss bonus is there to help facilitate some AK-47s and AWP possible as well and if they want to get Farley into that. Put yourself in Config's shoes as well. Like, you've been so desperate for openings. They're asking you to find them. You've got to toilets. You hear, like, a scope or you just hear a dismount from the boost long and you charge. You start, your eyes go wide, the pupils dilate. You strafe up a gorgeous strafe, and Dex is hitting a quick scope right onto your face. The rest just falls apart. We're in panic stations right now for Astralis. One T round. This is very, very rough from them, right? The fact that they're not even getting into these sites to make these like 2v2s or clutch scenarios that they're losing at this juncture is a little bit of a problem here. You can see the bomb has only gone down a total of two times. And only a total of two times so far. There's been two timeout rounds where AWPs have been saved for Farley. Having a rough goal, things mentioned. He hasn't been... Uh, very impactful for the team on their T side. So no AWP. It looks like they're going to focus on utility. I I'm surprised not to see them come up with a bit more of a pocket strat, some kind of nerdy execute towards B. They're just going to flash and push this time. Config coming again. And, well, Dexter seems to just greet him with a smile and a bullet every single time. It's the opening that Astralis have been looking for. It's the opening that Config has been looking for. Let's see if Spirit can continue to buck the trend. My god, imagine if he went all the way through. The bomb has been left there. <laughs> Magics could have the stabilizing presence had he had the initiative instead, looking to address the toilets instead. They're coming through. This flash could be perfect. Oh, yeah, but Siren's unaware. As Magics will check in. There Get should him. be at least an adjustment. Blame on the toes. He still stands strong. Big frag to post to maintain that man advantage. It is Chopper and Dexter, though. You can see that they did have some unity in the previous. They can go either way with this. You can see the CTs it's are fake. scattered. Yeah, faked out completely. Beautiful work right there from Blame. That was a really important kill. If he lost that frag, this round would have been done and dusted. Config's now going to walk on in. Smoke over towards the drop down. Plant will be coming momentarily. And Dexter and Chopper now know that they're out of position. The question is, do they want to try and go for this 2v3 retake? There's plenty of cash left on over right now for Spirit. He's going to deny in the back a shot to Chopper, a gimme. He'll confirm it, and Dexter looking to hold on to that AWP. The two rounds that Astralis have posted right now have come with opening deaths from Patsy. 
Don't want to point the fingers here, but that has been the condition of how Astralis have been able to convert. First, it was Glaive taking down Pansy. Now it was Config getting that kill. True. Doesn't matter how it comes, it needs to come. And Astralis, two rounds off the pace right now. More of a divide and conquer approach there out of Astralis. Red, they were applying pressure over towards bathrooms. I think trying to keep and identify that AWPA, right? We, we spoke about this earlier. Identify where Dexter is and then look for an opening pick elsewhere because Dexter has been very good. I, I think it was six rounds of play. I said that he had found four openings. I think he's had found a couple more since then. You got the scores on the doors. Dexter at the top right now for Spirit on 21 and Blame on the other side with 25. Yeah, I think it's also just highlighting how few frags they were finding in those losses as well. Lots mm. of money in the bank for Team Spirit. 11 grand on Dexter. Let's see what this one entails. It's Patsy again, and he's not deterred. He just charges in, and again, he falls first. Dexter is in knee-jerk reaction. Will shut it down immediately, but look what they were they were planning, and they still will. They're going to go through. They Straight know they through. have to. Siren, great incendiary, puts it down. Floor laden with flame. That will keep them at bay. Swinging out for the clear. Needed that. Needs more. It's flame next victim. Siren repels the invaders. These invaders must die. It is, however, Farley and Glaive. Look at this flank right now from Chopper around the world here. Yeah, he will have them from behind. Oh, oh the flash. barrel. OK, oh. it's fine on Dexter. Continues to lay down the law, and he will finish with three. Very quick on that AWP. 15 now. Ooh, OK, yeah. Zip and Clave don't have the funds. It might not be idyllic for Astralis as they look to defend their honor. They have to string together three here. It's been a very dominant CT performance out of spirit. We know that Overpass has actually been one of the more balanced in those round distributions, but not here, not today. It was a 10-5 half. We were sitting 10-2. Can Astralis match that haul that Spirit brought? Again, back towards A, even through the flames. Conflict taking a massive lick of damage right there. Chipped on down to 60. He wants to try and get some space. He might run to the orb, but he will. Conflict down to Dexter's orb one more time. Yeah, I mean, at least it's a rifle now for Glaive if he can, and Brave long. Spirit looking for their first taste of some revenge, Patsy. Shadow, and down goes Farley. A two-man advantage now. It seems like a certainty, and with every click, it gets closer and closer to reality. It is looking like overpass pick was justified. Blame and Zip would be hard-pressed to do anything more with this. Two individuals who you'd like to see alive in the clutch. But maybe not paired up with one another. Let's see if they can make this happen. Four more to find. Back towards B is where they want to turn their affections. Two yeah. players still residing right now. Util, just a nade and a molly. They're going to have to get it done with bullets here. I wonder if Blame takes a little bit of charge here. Trundling in. Molly out. Siren and Magix will likely be calling for aid. They haven't seen and confirmed the pair. Oh, and that's Chopper. This is it. It's just Blame looking to tap some heads. A nice burst, but Spirit take 